kind of goes with uh, what Cuz said about being structured. Um, but I do want to get through this, and I don't want to. I don't want to hold you long. Like I used to tell the sailors um, in Bonham and Shaw, I just want about five or ten chapel service minutes. We ain't gonna get, and, and for the chapel, for my family, if it starts at eleven, <laughs> you better be there at eleven because church will end at eleven fifteen. Yeah. So that's why I said chapel service. But one day I said this ain't gonna be the Kojic minutes. And some little sail in the back, he started laughing. I said, Oh, you know Kojic? He said, Yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Today, as I was back then, I'm still. 
still as nervous today <laughs> as I was back then. Um, and, and then I think about purpose. Um, how many of y'all know that if you are not living your life on purpose, you are simply going through the motions? Um, so I pray that each of you find your purpose. Because um, my first year, six years, I was telling my son, um, it was really hard. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Because um, I really had a low-key attitude. Ain't that right, Chanel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we'll get to it. Um, so, ma'am, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I just pray that you find your purpose. Because when you're walking in your purpose and you're doing it with pure motive, come what may. has come in 30 years, um, you will enjoy peace. And that's where I am today. Like, I have never been at, in such a place of peace like in my life um, because I, I know um, with all the things that were going on, I was not going to be moved. Like, hey, come up, man. I, I was going to stand for So why was it hard, y'all? Leadership. All leaders ain't great. Right. <laughs> Just be honest with you. It, 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 whether you're in the military or not, you are going to have people that are responsible and they're your leaders that are really not all that great. And that's why it was tough for me because I had an expectation um, in between two things. 2009, 2014, to 2000, 2015, I often felt like I was thrown to the woods, like in the wilderness, to figure it out. Um, then I would ask, why? Like, isn't the military different? Oh boy. Uh, so I learned a lot um, from those in leadership position, positions, even the ones with their own unique style. And when I was at Harper's Ferry, I actually learned that leaders don't compete with their subordinates. Mm -hmm. like that's just fear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and quite frankly, like if you're doing whatever it is that you're doing and you're serving with pure motives, you're competing with no one. But at the end of that assignment, a leader showed me that no matter how hard I worked, in Harper's, in, I'm not going to name the command, but there was a specific assignment because I don't want nobody trying to put two and two together. Y'all heard what she said about that? But there, there was a command um, that I was with. And, she already and said it. Assignment, like, it didn't matter like how hard I worked. Um, they still felt that uh, she don't deserve Your sailors will surpass you. Mm -hmm. And you find great pride in that. And I'm just going to call a few of the names. And if I didn't call 
calling your name, y'all. Just, 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 just charge it to the fact that I'm getting a little older. I'm almost getting older. <laughs> but, um, I, I just wanted, I want my sailors to be so much better. And Lieutenant Phillips, Lieutenant Kirkland in the back, stand up, sir. Lieutenant Kirkley, y'all, he came all the way from Greece. Oh, wow. to Oh, that's me. Ah. Ah. Where we at? Where we at? <laughs> All right. All right. I wanted to be 
God God did. did. <laughs> No problem. So thank you so much. And I did, I never had to worry about it. Like ever. I got an email once from the 96 Medical Group saying that one of the kids had to go to the hospital because it was connected to my account. And so I said to James, I said, hey, why didn't you tell me that I think it was Trent, that Trent had to go to the doctor? He's like, well, who were you going to do? <laughs>
And she said, oh, and I already told the captain, so you can't try to talk me out of it. <laughs> um, and I'm going to put them in a box. Naval Diving and Salvage Training Center, Naval School Explosive Ordnance Disposal, all of them were solid. From the wardroom to the civilian staff, I had an absolutely amazing experience in those committees. Of Naval Diving and Salvage Training Center, a solid chief's mess. And the reason why I was elected for Master Chief was the Naval School or or the Explosive Ordnance <laughs> Disposal. Um, thank y'all so much for allowing me to do the things that an administrator, because y'all, you know, I, I do paperwork, right? But they let me do things that administrators don't normally do. When I was at dog school, I would show up ready, like, hey, and they would look like, what are you doing here? Oh, I came to PT. Are you coming to PT with that? Yes. And they were like, okay, you're here. Um, and it was just a great experience because, again, I didn't feel like, you know, I didn't belong. So when I left dive school and went to the Harper's Ferry, that's when I realized, like, oh, we got gender roles? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what do that? Uh, I just left a place that they said that, hey, I can do anything. Um, so thank y'all so much to the leaders who are here, um, who are now retired, that just made a significant impact on my life. Um, all of the CEOs I had there, Captain Dave Davis, Chris Moore, Joe Paladin, Bill No, my exos, Rudy Shane, Commander Shauna Corcoran, my CMCs. Y'all, like they were really good. They almost made me want to be a command master chief, but I knew I wasn't a Navy diver or an EOD tech. So yeah, I wasn't going to probably have the same type of sailors. But those command master chiefs really made me into a better chief petty officer. So Kyle Galliard. John Reese, Jim Walker, Stacy McLean, and even though Pete Bevel wasn't a command master chief, I had never worked with a more um, very direct <laughs> master chief in my whole life. He would tell you like it really was. And he said to me one time, yeah, you know, we screwed up this whole um, eval ranking, but hey, um, well, we'll get you on the next go round. <laughs> <laughs> Randy Miller. So I had my flag flown um, at strategic places for a reason, um, because those commands um, really made um, a, a huge impact on my life. Um, and the only reason why, of course, it wasn't flown in a couple places because those commands no longer exist. Um, Yvonne Amashar, um, we lost her to a fire a couple years ago, um, and 
Shannon Doors, um, the Commission. Um, but Randy Miller, he couldn't be here today because he's out in the board getting sailors ratings. But he made an amazing impact on me coming to DC to work on that staff. Because I've never been on staff duty, y'all. I walk through passageways. Hey, y'all, how's it going? What y'all doing? And if they're on phone conference now, shh. I'm like, yeah. I ain't gonna make it here. <laughs> As a matter of fact, there's a video circulating because um, Master Chief Davis that was on the video, she used to work with me in D.C., so she said something about me being old one day, because she's like maybe a month younger, okay, maybe a year, but um, so she said to me like, oh, you know I can beat you in a race? Nah, not on your best day. <laughs> So then she's like, well, the next time we go to PT, we'll race. No, you don't want to race? We'll race now. <laughs> so I usually wear the khakis. And I had all these uniforms here for a reason so that my family could see like all the different uniforms that we wear in the Navy. So I had on my khakis that Lieutenant, um, my twin spirit, <laughs> is wearing as well as my girl, Lynn. So I had my khakis on, them dress shoes. Same thing for Tracy. And we're on the fourth deck, so like the fourth floor. This is the Admiral's floor. <laughs> but I was like, hey, you want to do this? Let's do this now. And I said, I'll even give you a head start. <laughs> I did, and I beat her. Um, <laughs> but that was the day I thought, yeah, really? I'm going to get fired. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> yeah. But it was just a great experience there, um, and I couldn't have done it without Randy Miller. I think James has probably heard his name um, more times than he's heard Chanel, Kitney, Rita. Randy is like a fixture like in our home um, because he was really pleased that I was chosen for that job, um, even though I didn't think that I could do that job because, again, uh, I'm just – a regular old sailor, um, just wanting to do regular sailor things. I didn't want to write policy. Like, <laughs> why? Um, but Randy really helped me um, in that, that tour, and I just couldn't um, not mention him today. Um, the entire My Navy HR, um, Chiefs Mass in Command, thank y'all so much uh, for being here today. Um, Jose, Christina, um, my girl Megan, basketball mom, and now we're best friends. She here. She's a civilian though, y'all. She's like, this Navy stuff. Um, and then my other Megan, who is going to be commissioned here um, really soon. Thank y'all for uh, for being here. Um, and, and I'm going to wrap it up, right? All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> James is the one that said I had to do the ceremony. <laughs> hey, say the long one, though. Not the long version.
The ceremony you are about to witness will end with passing of the national ensign to Manchi Luther. The ensign was flown over the USS Harper's Ferry, Naval Personnel Command, Naval Diving and Salvage Training Center, and Naval School Explosive Ordnance Disposal in honor of a service. detail. Post. Flag detail. About face. Forward. March. Today, we pause in a ceremony etched with traditions. We idle the engines, lay to the work, and later we drink to the foam. <laughs> Tanya transition to the civilian surface via the sandy beaches of Destin Woo! and wooded trails 
a quest item. <laughs> we do so to pay respect to one of our shipmates mm. and her family going ashore. Amen. In honor of her year of service. Friends, families, leaders, and shipmates. It all started in the year 1992 in Charleston, South Carolina, where she first enlisted in the world's <laughs> finest Navy. Bruh. For 30 years, this Master Chief stood the watch. While some of us were in our bunks at night, and some of us enjoying the comfort of being with our families, this phenomenal leader stood a watch. While some of us were in school learning our trade, this Navy storekeeper stood a watch. <laughs> yes, even before some of you were born <laughs> into this world, this Navy counselor stood a watch. In those years, when the storm clouds of war were seen brewing on the horizon of history, this selfless and remarkable leader stood a watch. Many times, she would cast an eye ashore and see her family standing there, needing her guidance and help, needing that hand to hold during those hard times, but she, she still stood a watch. She stood a watch for 30 years. She stood a watch so that we, our families, and her fellow citizens could sleep soundly in safety each and every night, knowing that a sailor stood a watch. Today, on September 1st, the year of our Lord, 2022, we are here to say, Master Chief, the watch stands relieved. Relieved by those you have trained. Relieved by those you have guided. Relieved by those you have led. And relieved by your son. <laughs> Master Chief, you stand probably relieved. <laughs> hey. Woo.
every single thing. Um, and, and she fell, even though I used to give him the business. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> Mark my words. If you just keep putting in the work, remain humble, and you do not have to have a nasty attitude. Because we're like the yin and the yang. Like, I'll go all fair, I'll go off on folks, but uh, <laughs> we. I don't know. <laughs> that you want to do, you can do. And every now and then, you just got to do it for yourself. Yeah. And, and I'm just being honest. Like, we have a support system in the military, but every now and then, when you need something done for yourself, you just got to do it. But it hurts, y'all, when you have to always do stuff for yourself. This young lady right here has been through a lot. She thought she was very. <laughs> are going to be a singer chief. So, Kenny, I wasn't being cheap by giving them me. It, it got a whole song. It goes right. I love you. Everything that you need to execute at that next level.
that if you're just focusing on the next pay grade, you probably don't.